Welcome back to the Reverend Line, your trusted channel for the latest and most in-depth look at advanced military systems around the globe. Today, we're turning our focus to a weapon system that's quickly becoming one of the most important tools for short-range air defense in the modern battlefield, the Mistral 3 surface-to-air missile system, as of its 2027 iteration. And more specifically, how this advanced missile fits into the growing defense framework of the Philippines. With mounting tensions in the Asia-Pacific region and increasing incursions into Philippine airspace and maritime zones, the deployment of such a system could become a game-changer for national defense. The Mistral 3 is not just another surface-to-air missile. It represents a refined, highly lethal short-range solution capable of intercepting a wide variety of airborne threats, including helicopters, jets, UFs, and even cruise missiles. Developed by the European defense company MBDA, this third-generation missile has become significantly more advanced than its predecessors. With a maximum range of 6 km and an interception ceiling of about 3,000 meters, it's a missile designed not for long-range engagements, but for close-in protection against low-flying threats. And in many cases, especially in island nations like the Philippines, that's exactly what's needed. The real strength of the Mistral 3 lies in its seeker and guidance system. It uses an advanced imaging infrared seeker also known as ERA which allows it to lock onto and track a target based on heat signatures, even in the presence of sophisticated countermeasures like flares or electronic interference. Once fired, it's fire and forget, meaning the operator can immediately move or seek cover. Unlike radar-guided systems, which can reveal the operator's position or be jammed, the Mistral 3's passive homing keeps the user hidden and improves survivability on the battlefield. The missile also boasts a powerful proximity-fused warhead with a high hit probability. In real operational environments, the Mistral 3 has shown a greater than 95% kill rate during testing. That level of performance means that when you need to take something down, you can trust that this missile will do it efficiently and decisively. For the Philippines, the inclusion of the Mistral 3 in its modernization program is part of a larger shift toward credible deterrence and layered defense. The country's archipelagic geography, with over 7,000 islands, poses a unique challenge for air and coastal security. Traditional large-scale air defense systems are difficult and expensive to deploy across such widely dispersed territory. But a compact, mobile missile system like the Mistral 3 provides a flexible, cost-effective answer to this problem. It can be mounted on vehicles, deployed on ships, or stationed on key islands that are considered hotspots due to territorial disputes in the West Philippine Sea. One of the standout features of the Mistral 3 system is its adaptability. It's not just a shoulder-fired missile. It can also be integrated into modular air defense systems such as the Atlas RC or Samad RC, which are remote control turret systems capable of holding multiple Mistral missiles. These can be mounted on naval vessels, offering crucial point defense against air threats particularly for the Philippine Navy's growing fleet of offshore patrol vessels and future corvettes. Likewise, land-based versions can provide coverage for air bases, radar installations, and communication hubs a critical infrastructure that would be targeted first in any hostile encounter. In recent years, the Philippines has seen an uptick in encounters with foreign aircraft and grey zone operations involving drones and surveillance platforms. This is especially true near contested areas like Scarborough Shoal and parts of the Calayan Island group. The Mistral 3 offers a means to quickly respond to and neutralize such threats, acting as a first line of defense before air superiority assets like fighter jets can be scrambled. It also complements radar and surveillance networks, 
feeding into an integrated air defense system that can provide real-time data to launchers on the ground or sea. Another reason the Mistral 3 is ideal for the Philippine setting is its ease of operation. Training personnel to operate the system doesn't require the same level of complexity or infrastructure that more advanced long-range systems need. This lowers the barrier for rapid deployment and widespread use, particularly by Philippine Army and Navy units stationed in frontline and remote areas. Its light footprint means it can even be transported by helicopters, small boats, or trucks, allowing rapid repositioning in the event of changing tactical needs. Furthermore, interoperability with allies is an important consideration for the Philippines. The Mistral 3 is already used by several NATO countries and trusted defense partners. As joint military exercises continue with countries like France, the United States, and Australia, having a common platform like the Mistral means easier coordination, data sharing, and mutual support in case of real-world operations. This strengthens regional partnerships and enhances the Philippines' role in maintaining security in Southeast Asia. By 2027, the Mistral 3 represents not just a missile, but a philosophy of defense that is mobile, precise, adaptable, and highly effective. It aligns perfectly with the strategic goals of the Philippine Defense Modernization Program of securing sovereignty protecting territorial integrity, and ensuring that any airborne threat, no matter how small or fast, faces a credible response. In the skies above the West Philippine Sea, and across the scattered islands of this proud nation, the Mistral 3 will be watching. Ready to launch. Ready to defend. This is the Reverend Line. Stay informed, stay alert, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Defense Insights right here.